So we're here with a surprise guest in the Sky City Northern Nights lineup this afternoon, Daryl. Um, tell us how you came to be in the side because you started out the season playing against us in a practice match. Yeah, it's just funny how kind of things have panned out. Um, of with work commitments, I um, kind of I gave back my contract to Auckland and um, decided to, to kind of get away from cricket and uh, and work for the Moa Bear Company and um, playing a bit of cricket over in Sydney which kind of worked into the lifestyle that um, my wife and I, kind of, with a new with a newborn, uh, seemed to suit us a bit better. And, but I've had a couple of weeks off just with the birth of our, our, new, our daughter and um, kind of got a call, a surprise call a couple of days ago by Scott Styrus and uh, Grant Bradburn asking me to uh, if I was keen on coming back and to the Northern Knights colours and you know I jumped at the chance to get back in and uh, you know back to my roots really where I've played most of my career. Quick decision. Very quick decision. It's, it's, like, I, uh, it's like I haven't left. Um, it's all the same familiar faces. A couple of new ones as well, which is exciting, and which I have played against uh, when I was with the Auckland team. And a uh, really exciting young crew here, and yeah, just excited to be part of it at the moment, especially at a crucial stage of the season. Sure. So this was after Corey suffered his injury at, at Mount Monganui, right? Yeah, Corey had suffered an injury. So it was Scotty Storis as well over in um, playing for Hobart. So I think you kind of, especially with as well with Dan and Timmy out injured and uh, a few of the Black Cap selections. Um, they just wanted a bit more um, veteran presence yeah. um, at the back end of the innings and bits and pieces which I've done um, well for um, Auckland over the last couple of years. Yeah. And when we say veteran, Daryl, you're not that old. I'm not that old. I get labelled <laughs> like in amongst like the Simon Duels and the Mark Baileys. I did play with those guys, but uh, in this team, Joseph Jovic is older than me, uh, Graham Aldridge and Scott Storis, so <laughs> I'm probably in the younger brigade at the moment. Everybody's younger than Scotty, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm 34 and he, I think he's got about four years on me. I think he's 38, but he's looking a bit more like 42 at the moment. <laughs> um, are you confident? Um, do you feel match ready? Yeah, I've been playing um, every weekend at the moment over in Sydney, so I fly over on Friday night and so I've been playing a mixture of two day, one day uh, cricket and uh, T20 cricket over in Australia. So, and I've been buying really well there, which has been pleasing. And um, just given an opportunity now here to, to test my wares again at um, the highest level domestically here in New Zealand again. And grade cricket isn't um, isn't easy, I, I hear. No, it's not. Like um, I've played against quite a few of the big bash players um, over the last uh, two months in uh, Sydney. Like Simon Kadich, Cameron Borges, who we'll play against on uh, Sunday. Yeah. And uh, Mitchell Clayton. Who was the pro for uh, Canterbury? So I've played against all those guys and quite a few other big bash players. So it's a it's a really good uh, great competition over in Sydney, and so I've been playing against some pretty good competition. So in some ways, I guess it feels like you haven't been away at all, haven't, haven't retired, as it were. No, exactly. Like I, I kind of retired from um, first class cricket at, at, at that stage of the season, and um, but still applying my trade over in uh, in Australia. So I'm pretty. I feel I'm pretty pretty much match for match ready. What's the key, do you think, to whipping these um, Cantabs today? I think um, with our mix of uh, youth and experience, I think that'll um, kind of um, hold us in good stead today. Um, really exciting game. We need to win this and win the next one against Wellington as well. So it's two big games coming up to uh, try and secure us um, a good finals berth. But um, you know, if we can just do the simple things um, well, especially at the top of the order and with the ball, and be confident and uh, know our roles and just just execute. That's the biggest thing about T20 cricket is executing your skills. Yeah, basics go a long way too, just holding on to those wickets. And <laughs> yeah, it does, you know, like I've, my role in the team will be, uh, I'll probably be opening up and just get um, early breakthroughs and uh, George Wick has been in great form, uh, as is Rob Nicholl coming back from uh, international duty. Yeah. So it, it'll be a really good contest, but I've bought against these guys quite a lot, so it's not going to be nothing new to me. Well, one win and we're into the playoffs at least. So. Yeah, exactly, but yeah, we want yeah to strive a little bit higher and get a home semi, um, if not, you know, throw the cat amongst the pigeons and uh, it could be a home final. Have you tried on your pink uniform yet? Uh, yeah, I did. I tried it on uh, earlier this afternoon and uh, it fits well, so. No second thoughts. No second thoughts. No, I'm really enjoying um, being around, uh, Grant, very good friends with Grant Bradburn and yeah, very, very pleased to be back here in uh, Indy Colours. Awesome. Exciting. Good luck. Thank you.